All right, guys, so I'm in another trade already. I think that Bitcoin's going to make one more wave down, but I think that uh, I think that this guy's going to correct right away, actually, like to the upside, rather. And because I was wrong last time, it makes more sense that there's a higher probability this time like, to go upwards, right? So, you know, if my position's there and I'm looking for a scalp to somewhere up there, that's a perfect target, in my opinion. So now we're, we could possibly gain about a 2.42% profit there so i'll check up on it again in about 10 minutes and i'll let you guys know how it goes all right guys so here's the bullish pin bar that's looking like it's coming up right here i just want to confirm it on other uh, time frames as well yeah it's looking pretty good it's closing below the 200 moving average but sometimes the first uh it's, it could be like a fake out right on a very high time frame so you know it's rejecting to the it's it's trying to go up, but it's rejecting it and coming back down. But nevertheless, it is a bullish pin bar that's forming on even a 20-minute chart, right? On a 30-minute chart, it still has a pretty long ways to go, but it's looking good overall, I'd say, on my end. Okay, so here's me being very stubborn now and actually adding a lot more to my position. <laughs> right, like, well, no, I don't know if it's a lot, but 625 more, or total rather. So my base price right now is about six, is about $25,000. Got a little bit more here at the two eight ranges, just in case it hammers down, you know, to like the thirty seven, three seven, three ranges as well. I'm ready to just catch it. It's a little bit extreme, you know, like way down over there, but you never know. What if someone just ends up hammering it down, right? And then I can end up catching a little long wick. That would be the most perfect thing in the world. <laughs> so here is Bitcoin still falling, uh, finding somewhat decent support. So now this guy is not correlating at all in any way to Bitcoin. So we really have to give it time to possibly bounce up very soon. Just the way it's trending though, it's looking good. The way it's trending. So I'm just going to expect maybe a little bit more ticking down here. And then we should probably burst upwards soon. Let's uh, give it a little bit of time. All right, guys. We're looking pretty good right now. Like, Notice something about this, okay? Notice how this right here is kind of like a mix of red and green. But this one here is like much, much, much more green, right? This just goes to show the correlation between Bitcoin and altcoins sometimes, how they don't always correlate. You have to keep in mind that there was definitely some fundamental news that was released. That's how we got this massive wick, even on a 15-minute time frame, right? That's a really big rejection. So because there was some fundamental news, it kind of threw off the cycle between uh, this coin right here and, and Bitcoin, right? So because it threw off the cycle, it's on a completely different cycle right now. So even if Bitcoin does fall, this does have a chance to actually still uptrend. So yeah, you guys notice why it broke down, right? One, two, three, four, and basically a five wave right up there, right? And this was the one, two, three, four, and a very, very truncated C wave up or fifth wave up there. And this is most likely making some sort of A, B, C. And I firmly believe right here, Okay, I firmly believe that if this is ABC, this could be very well the bottom before we start an uptrend already. Just like how Bitcoin might have reached the bottom already. Why do I say Bitcoin might have reached the bottom already? Well, I remember earlier I was talking about keep an eye between these support regions. It could very well be the bottom because we got this massive rejection here through that wick, right? That's a big rejection, guys. Like, take a look at this. Okay, this is we're talking like a like a one percent gain there or one percent rejection. Not really the best candles to indicate support yet on Bitcoin. Well, actually, that's pretty decent. Like, all these combinations are decent for a little uptrend. Uh, yeah, so it looks pretty promising. So notice my position now. Like, we're doing good, right? We're doing very well. So let's talk about this right here. Let's talk about how this is the fifth wave, basically, and how this could be an ABC, just like that here already. Okay, let's explore the options that this is a strong hypothesis and this case will actually hold. If it does hold, great. So now we're gonna first of all do checks. We're gonna check our Fibonacci extensions to see what it did. And what we see here, it's doing somewhere between one to one and one six one eight, which is perfect right now because that's a very traditional type of retracement or extension rather. And also it fits many other theories as well, right? Such as this theory right here. Now, if this was an ending fifth wave diagonal, then 
this right here is as simple as one, two, three, four, and a five, just like this right here, where it has officially completed already. So if this has completed already, then we are in an ending fifth wave diagonal in a C position right now, where this is very likely to bust out of here. Now, Bitcoin is still kind of doing the exact same thing. Notice in this four minute window right there, there's only 25 trades because this window only holds 25 trades. Well, that's only six trades a minute, which is very, very low volume right now. So it's hard for me to think that it's going to go up. This coin as well right now, it's hard for me to think it's going to go up as well, right? Because Bitcoin seems like it's going to go down, which most likely it will. But at the same time, we also have to acknowledge the fact that... uh that based on our count right here, it's very difficult to assume anything otherwise, other than this is entirely done already. Yeah, one, two, three, most likely a four up there and a five, I'm guessing. Yeah, and uh, let's see if we can find any more bullish signs, okay? Uh, can we find any bullish signs of gaining strength? Yes, we do. So notice this is the the previous low or low right there, right? And now we're getting a higher low right here, okay? And despite us falling lower and lower, what we're getting is a series of higher lows on the RSI where this does look like it might tick up soon. This one right here also did that, right? That's so smooth in my opinion. I'm really digging this trade so far. It just seems like there's a lot of bullish momentum. Let's look at the 10 minute chart now, right? See how that looks. We get a, a pretty decent like double wick here, 10 minute chart, very, very weak support. But nevertheless, this gained a lot of strength, right? And this has the making to just completely just shoot up right now. It, it really does. Let's look at the 15 minute chart to see if we see any bullish signs. We're seeing it, yes, definitely. Despite similar price action here, we're actually seeing an uptrend over here. And because we're seeing it uptrend, right, with a higher low, well, that could very much so signal as well that we're gaining strength. This just wants to break out, guys. Honestly, it, it just wants to break out of there, right? Notice how it, it did break out of there, actually. And after it broke out of there, okay, broke out, and it bounced off of it right there. That's a really cool observation to make sometimes, which means that this is fairly bullish for the short term, and there's a very high probability of this uptrending. So on the five-minute chart, you know, it looks like it's got a chance to just break upwards right now. On the 10 minute chart, it looks like it's got a chance to break up as well, but we're getting this rejection candle that makes me a little bit uncomfortable in a 10 minute time frame. Like if we got another bullish candle, that'd be great. 45 minute time frame, uh, 45 minute time frame, nothing really yet. Nah, nothing really yet. Uh, 30 minute time frame, we've got 14 minutes to go. We're gonna actually get a pair of tweezer bottoms. Looks pretty good to me. And another thing that this could just be as well, okay, like I'll be very clear. This thing could just be a bit like a whole first wave, right? Like, you know, uh, sorry, like wave one, two, and this could have been like, like here's an alternate count, okay? This this alternate count is, uh, you've always got to have alternate counts. So this could have been wave one, two, that's always one, like one. Like something like that, sorry. Like that, right? It could just be something like that as well, where we haven't even finished uh, one, uh, like, you know, ABC yet as well, where we're still going to be just doing a fourth wave correction only. <laughs> a very pitiful one. Like, what if we only did just a fourth wave correction, right? Do you guys know what I mean? Like, what if we do just a correction of, uh, like, what if this was like that? Yeah, something like that. It's possible as well, like 40, 50 ranges. So now we just got to sit here and wait, guys. Like I just see the, the thing about having like massive OCD is it's a good thing in trading, right? Because you're always constantly trying to reassure yourself to look for what's going on. Like this, this is gaining a lot. Of, it's gaining strength, guys. Like it's gaining strength on this trade right now, okay? You have to constantly reassure yourself to let yourself know and develop that confidence that this is a good trade. And guys, this is a very good trade. Look at the way that it's gaining strength right here, right? The 10-minute chart is just ready to bust upwards right now. 
I can't see it breaking down much lower than this. Yo guys, check this out, okay? Right here. Like, see, it's starting to look really bullish, right? Like, it's gaining a lot of strength right now. We didn't stay down on the histogram side for a long time. And we're starting to uptick here, right? But this this is going to be a very small one, okay? I just want to be very clear about that. That the target is roughly right around here, wherever the histogram lands up. So we're just going to make a very rough estimate right here. And just say it's going to get to roughly $40. I'm, I'm probably going to guess right around here. Like 40 Honestly, it's going to be a good uptrend, guys. Unless I'm completely freaking wrong. And where this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And like, you know what? Like, if I'm completely wrong, then there's going to be another gigantic fifth wave down over here, okay? Like, if I'm completely wrong, there's going to be a gigantic fifth wave down over there. Therefore, the conservative approach would be just for this particular wave right there only, okay? right here only which makes entire sense as well which means that my target price range to close this position could be roughly man i might even playing like big positions relative to the volume right now like 30k people don't like to see 30k walls you know so i'll put this guy right here at 40 dollars and um honestly let's go very just super conservative guys like forty dollars and twenty five cents or something like yeah, forty twenty five. Just make sure that the pricing is always right. You don't want to get it wrong. So there's mine up over here at forty twenty five. Let's just say I take the price range of the base wedge right here. Like let's just see if this is even a reasonable target. If I just take something like that, like as a wedge range target, okay. That's such an aggressive target though. Like I don't like that at all. So I'm just going to keep mine just like the way it is. Bitcoin is, uh, yeah, nobody's really doing anything in the past five minutes. Nothing at all, really. Yeah. So we're still just kind of sideways right now. People are starting to accumulate, though. But you notice the heavy trades right now? Okay, take a look at this, guys. There's been like 25 trades in the past like 20 seconds, which shows... You know, pretty decent uh, demand right now. So let's just keep looking at all these other time frames still, right? Just keep looking at all these time frames right here. Going together, we, we see the 15 minute chart ready to curve upwards, right? That's always a very good sign. We see the 10 minute chart, it's ready to explode up right now, honestly. We see really good candles right there on the 10 minute chart. Uh, you know, we got the tweezer bottom pair that we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. We got a very bearish type of candle after this bullish spinning top. But that's alright. The volume is diminishing though. Like, that kind of worries me, right? So now it just comes down to which time frame is it going to cross over and give us a decent uptrend? Will it be the 10 minute time frame? Will it be the 15 minute time frame where we have to wait a little bit, right? But nevertheless, we do see it positively upticking. Not only do we see it positively upticking, like this is what we don't want, okay? Because we can see the curvature of it like that. This is a pretty steady incline upwards, but when you see something like that, that's that's an exponential, right? It's basically e to the x. And that's exactly what this shape is right here, if you notice. Just this part right there, okay? So because of these small little factors, I can't help but think that I'm bullish right now. 20 minute time frame, we already did that one. 30 minute both spinning top is uh tweezer pair bottoms are gonna form in the next like two minutes which shows that in the past hour this actually found support 45 minute candle found in 30 minutes uh too much time 90 minute candle in 30 minutes is going to make a doji which is really really good one hour candle is about to form in two minutes that's going to make a doji candle, but it's a bearish candle because it closes. It's a bullish candle by itself, but a bearish candle because it closes below the 200 or the 55 moving average, right? So we don't see any support on higher time frames at all right now. On a daily, we're seeing it massively reject right now, right? It's a really ugly time frame. Like every single candle on like a one hour time frame and up is very bearish right now. So what I'm trying to do is just catch the very small bounce. And we're finding support, guys. We're finding support. Like, I gotta do it like this. Okay, this makes the most sense. Kind of like that, I guess. Like, this this has got to be done like that. 40, 39. I have mine at, like, 40, 38-ish. Yeah, 
though I have mine at 4181 about, right? So it's decent. Okay, check this out, guys. It spiked up right here, right? Check that out. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Bitcoin had a wall there that was just like massive, okay? It was so big, that wall. It was honestly so big, that wall. Now it's just getting rejected hard here, right? If you guys see this getting rejected here. Yeah, it was the catalyst that Bitcoin needed, right? So now it just broke out of there very quickly. This is probably the ABC, and then it's going to go down. Which means I should probably get out of this position, to be quite honest. Okay, I wasn't, I'm not feeling this long right now. So <laughs> I'm going to start shedding. Yeah, I'm going to start shedding my position size. Like, uh, well, the majority of my position here, actually. 39.8 to 39.75. <laughs> Definitely shedding some. I don't have any Neo on the exchange, obviously. So this guy looks like it's spiking up hard now, right? Let's see how this could... Oh, that was a nice little spike. Did you see that right there? That was a very lovely spike, I have to admit. <laughs> All right. There we go. Look at that. Okay, there's more people you know coming in to buy right now. I just I don't want a big profit. Like this is honestly a this is a stupid position that I even tried to play in. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. It's really I take a lot of risks. Tons of risks. I make like really bad decisions, but they're good decisions. <laughs> you know, like I make bad decisions as decisions people should never really make when they're trading if they're very inexperienced. But if you like start trading a lot later and you know you get high probability setups like the ones that I'm finding, damn, it can be very, very, very profitable, guys. So here's gonna be my uh, look at the bulls are still hammering at it right now. Like they're hammering at it. It can be incredibly profitable if you find a good strategy like the one that I'm using, right? So we have to keep in mind the one that I'm using right here is potentially using this as a as like a diagonal. If that was a fifth wave, we were targeting it like that, right? Like if it was a fifth wave like that. And then it possibly broke downwards or broke upwards out like that. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Everything is just spiking right now. All right. <laughs> there, that's pretty good right there. I got 100 here that almost filled up. Whoa, what did I last fill? Oh, 135. <laughs> you guys see that? I got so many filled up here at 135. No, 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 I, did, I didn't actually. Hold on, did I? Yeah. Right, 135 right there. It filled up. <laughs> I got skills. It's multiplying. <laughs> that was really good, guys. I'm just going to move it down here now a little bit. Let's just see if I can catch some of the wick end here. How many do I got left, man? I got 200 left. How many did I originally buy? Do you guys remember? I only shut off a lot of my position, right? I only got like 8k left or something like that. So I think I'm just going to you know, try to just get these guys executed in here now because I'm pretty happy with whatever here. Uh, like it's not really much profit to be honest, okay. Like it's honestly not much profit at all. Like Bitcoin's probably gonna take it. Oh, that's great. It's still looking green across the board, right? It's still looking very green across the board. That means that we could still get another spike with the lag delay. Keep in mind that what happens to Bitcoin will usually happen to the other coins as well. And what it is. Uh, happening to the other coins as well, right? Like it's it's a good reflection of how they can positively correlate. So Bitcoin goes up right now. There's a chance that they could positively correlate, right? So I just want to see how this plays out right here. It's not going to be that big of a profit, honestly. Okay, it's really not. Like these guys are hammering at it. I can just feel the momentum shifting right now. Okay, now where is these where are these guys going up to right where's the fib retracement that we're looking for like is it the point five right there are we at the 618 do we take the whole thing right here so there's many many factors to consider so the one minute chart is just trending like redonkulously high right now like for every single coin right now okay so i mean bitcoins it's just too high right now guys like i have to close this position right now i i honestly have to close this position i don't like i don't want to beat it I've already had my big chance. I kind of screwed up on my laddering, right? So if I slam the market now, it's going to drive it down to only eight, to 83. And what? I'm going to make $20 in this trade? Actually, no, I'll still make 200 on that trade. Sorry, I, yeah, 200 in this trade is not bad still, okay? I'm pretty happy with that, I guess. But we got to get some momentum going here. Like, it's really, really high right now. The bulls are really pushing it up, if you guys don't know, okay? The bulls are really pushing it up right now. They're not letting it fall down, despite people trying to sell it off, right? You, you, can, you can see that the counts is much higher than normal, three and four, which means people are actually stepping in right now. There we go. So they're driving up the price, as you can see. 
twice as big driven up again. I, I gave you guys a signal, man. I honestly tweeted it in my last tweet right there, guys. Like, I honestly tweeted it already. And I said I was in a long position for Neo, right? So, yeah. So, this is it, guys. There's not that much left right now. This is awesome. I gave you guys a signal that I was in a long position. I'm just going to close up my rest of my orders now, okay? Because I don't got that many left. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Guys, I gave you guys a signal that I was in a long position. And this was a really, really good profit for $230 for about a one-hour trade, which puts me up today at um, 1000 Hold on. What am I at today? I got to check this out, man. What am I at today now? 1370 plus 230 Okay. 1370 plus 230 I'm at $1,600 today. I think I'm done today. Now. I know I said that was my last trade, but I swear that this is going to be my last trade. I'm going to upload the full uh, video. Cheers, guys. Yeah, easy 1600 bucks today. What are we going to do, guys? What are we going to shop? What are we going to buy today?